listen don't be ignorant the whole kingdom is in this room worshiping him the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 but the manifestation say the manifestation. manifestation the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all or to profit with mm -hmm. so we can profit by the manifestation of the Spirit yes. now manifestation is revealing there's a revealing mm -hmm. of the Spirit and he goes on to list a whole bunch of things that should be revealing who the Holy Ghost the Spirit this should be revealing the Spirit revealing the Spirit say revealing the Spirit revealing the Spirit revealing the Spirit as who as God these are manifestations of God that reveal the Holy Ghost as God do these things happen in the earth today yes and they all should be say they all should be, they all should be. Revealing, revealing the Holy Ghost as God. as God verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts it says gifts there that words in italics it's not really there it really means concerning spiritual things or things pertaining to the spirit brethren I would not have you ignorant why is he writing this to people to brethren because these brethren be ignorant mm -hmm. they were ignorant of the things he's about ready to reveal and we just talked about the manifestation or revealing of the spirit so people even in our day need some revelation revealing of who the spirit is that he's god he's the one jesus sent to be with you mm -hmm. shape up well i would not have you ignorant have means in the present state that you're in people are in a present state of ignorance about the Holy Ghost being the only God in the earth today I make that statement almost every week and people are ignorant of it mm -hmm. in whatever circle or group they're walking around in they think something else they're in a state of ignorance how many states are there in the United States you can add one more they live and move in a state of complete ignorance of the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today are you here yes it's hard for people who think that they already have something to learn something new or to get something new mm -hmm. why would I need to receive something new if I have everything right. well you might just be ignorant of something that you think you already have most people think that when they receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues that they've arrived that they have everything I hear people preach on it all the time when you receive it the tongues the speaking in tongues you have it you've got and and frankly we were taught this by some of our greatest teachers mm -hmm. you do need to receive the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues but the problem with preaching it that way is that people think they've arrived mm -hmm. you have people that haven't received yet and they wish and they desire to and they see these other people who've received the Holy Ghost with speaking with other tongues and they look at them and they think man if I could just get there I would have arrived yet still completely ignorant that we've received a person through that process of receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking with other tongues we received a person not just an ability to speak with other tongues mm -hmm. he is not an it he's not a thing he is not an anointing he's a person mm -hmm. 
and we talk about receiving the holy ghost as an it i get to speak with other tongues as a thing the baptism and as an anointing then you've received power after the holy ghost has come after the holy ghost has come on you the holy ghost say the holy ghost, the holy ghost. He's not an it. He's not a thing. He's not an anointing. He is the one, say the one, one. that Jesus sent from the Father to be with us as a divine person. Emphasizing it and a thing and an anointing, if you do that too much, it will blind you to the reality of Him as God because you've received it you've received a thing you've received an anointing and you can go to almost any service any church service and there will be songs and that's their language if you emphasize that too much and we have then it blocks you from receiving and knowing and having the revelation of him as a person and you won't worship him some of our greatest advocates of the baptism in the Holy Ghost don't go here won't go here refuse to go here adamantly reject going here worshiping the Holy Ghost as God anointings gifts of the Spirit they can all increase they can all develop and some of our greatest preachers have great anointings great gifts of the spirit in manifestation and it just seems to grow and it grows but it never takes you here it should be a revelation of him their gifts of the spirit yeah. well how can that be how can it because gifts develop you can develop in the gifts mm -hmm. things develop you can develop in things it develops you can develop in it speaking in other tongues i know i have but those gifts those anointings those things it never turns into him because it's something he gave it's not him mm -hmm. first corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh who that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills mm -hmm. that right there is a revelation of who the holy ghost is see you're changed by knowing him not by knowing his gifts mm -hmm. you know people can have a gift of the spirit and never be changed i am changed by knowing him say I'm changed by knowing him I'm changed by knowing him. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty or freedom verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord who are you changed by the Spirit, the Spirit. The Spirit Lord knowing him mm -hmm. and if you know him as Lord the Spirit you would worship him as Lord the Spirit I don't care how anointed you are or what gifts you have moving in your life if you don't know him as the Spirit Lord now the Lord is that Spirit and where the Spirit is Lord there's Liberty then you can't go here knowing him what did it say how we are changed even as by the Spirit Lord the Lord who is that Spirit the Spirit of the Lord who is that Holy the Holy Ghost if you don't worship him you might be ignorant hmm. right Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve say thou shalt worship, thou shalt worship the, Lord God, the Lord thy God and him only, and him only shalt, thou serve. shalt thou serve who said this Jesus, Jesus said it red letters 
jesus spoke in red letters this was directly after the holy ghost came down out of heaven and was on and with jesus right after that he said thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve well the holy ghost he is god a lot of people don't know that and therefore they don't worship him and nor can they serve him let alone only serve him let's look at jesus for a second luke 4 verse 1 and it says and jesus being full of the holy ghost returned from the jordan and was led by the spirit mm -hmm. who was jesus being led by the holy ghost so who was jesus following the holy ghost verse 14 and jesus returned in the power of the spirit so jesus returned he was walking with say jesus was walking with jesus was walking with the spirit the holy ghost then verse 18 jesus says the spirit of the lord or literally the spirit lord is on me because he has anointed me mm -hmm. did jesus call the spirit lord an anointing mm -hmm. no he said the spirit lord anointed him yeah. so jesus followed the spirit lord mm -hmm. jesus obeyed the spirit lord jesus was serving him does this make sense mm -hmm. is this too difficult mm -hmm. Well, back up in verse 8 he says thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve who is jesus only serving the holy ghost must have been who jesus was talking about when he said thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve we read earlier in second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the lord is that spirit now the lord is that spirit here we read thou shalt worship the lord thy god now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only serve should i just keep doing this i could do this for like an hour are you getting my point john chapter 4 verse 24 says again the words of jesus god is a spirit mm -hmm. and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth mm -hmm. is the holy ghost a spirit do you know that the holy ghost is god god is a spirit the holy ghost is god god is a spirit the holy ghost is god god is a spirit and they that worship him say they that worship him, they that worship him. must worship him in spirit and in truth so there must be a they who worship him well the holy ghost is god he is that spirit and they that worship him they say things like i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost this is truth and you can worship him in it god is a spirit they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth god is the holy ghost and you can worship him in this truth this is truth the holy ghost is god and you can worship him are you getting this mm -hmm. and we are they that do worship him in this truth this is the truth the holy ghost is god and you can worship him come on in there's a whole kingdom in here worshiping the holy ghost as god what do you mean a whole kingdom a whole economy everything you need it's in here romans chapter 14 and verse 17 for the kingdom of god say the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost mm -hmm. righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost the kingdom of god is in the holy ghost yes. 
remember jesus teaching the disciples to pray father which art in heaven right hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven when did the kingdom come with the holy ghost so the kingdom is in the holy ghost are you here mm -hmm. get it straight there's a whole kingdom in here righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost listen don't be ignorant the whole kingdom is in this room worshiping him the whole kingdom is in this room worshiping him the whole kingdom is in this room worshiping him god the holy ghost where's the kingdom it's in god the holy ghost that's the truth like it or not but worship him in it god is the spirit they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth read it again the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink but righteousness righteousness and peace and joy the peace and joy comes after the righteousness say the peace and joy, peace and joy. comes after the, after the righteousness romans chapter 10 verse 3 for they being what ignorant of god's righteousness here again he's writing about people who are ignorant of something yeah. good thing he wrote to them for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness which is of God go down to verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith so now he's going to talk about what the right way is the righteousness of faith speaks there's no righteousness of faith without speaking if you want to be scriptural the righteousness which is of faith speaks like this or on this wise speaks like this mm -hmm. so it doesn't say this mm -hmm. say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above so your words when you're speaking righteousness in the kingdom of God will not say mm -hmm. who will go into heaven and bring Jesus down to do something for me that's not the righteousness of faith Jesus already finished everything he needs to do and sat down and then sent another to be with us he sent the Holy Ghost to be with us and the whole kingdom is in him mm -hmm. righteousness the righteousness of faith speaks like this verse 8 but what saith it the word the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word it says the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach the word of God is nigh you who else is nigh you the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost and his kingdom listen the Holy Ghost and his kingdom is nigh you but you have to say his words and then you're in the righteousness of faith and gives you access to that kingdom peace and joy mm -hmm. in the Holy Ghost so in this kingdom in this society in this group of believers who worship the Holy Ghost as God and speak in agreement with his word all of the things of the kingdom are there for you say for me. for me all healing all deliverance all youth renewal all prosperity and wealth exists already mm -hmm. in this kingdom for you second Corinthians 1 20 says all the promises of God mm -hmm. God who the Holy, the Holy Ghost all the promises of God are yes and amen he's already said yes you have to say 
so be it unto me mm -hmm. psalms 103 says forget not all his benefits listen all of my people in this room of worshiping the holy ghost in this society are healed of every sickness and every disease have their youth completely renewed and walk in wealth and riches every one of them say every one of them every one of, them. Every one of the people my people in this room in this society in this kingdom worshiping the holy ghost as god all of those things are theirs they walk in them all i'm preaching the good news all of my people in this room in this society worshiping the holy ghost as god are rich they're wealthy say they're wealthy second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 for you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might be rich say be rich. be rich this is bible language jesus was made poor that you through his taking poverty upon himself mm -hmm. might be rich say that i, that I might, be might be rich all of my people rich all of my people wealthy it's your choice you can stand outside and criticize all you want or you can come on in and worship the holy ghost as god and know him and let him begin to change you you're not saying that all of your all of your people and all of your partners are millionaires yes listen the call is there for you it's there for you it exists for you let the word spoken change you well i can't believe it i can't well you will believe it when you begin to say his word out your mouth let the spoken word change you into the thing said that's the kingdom let the spoken word change you from glory to glory Haggai chapter 2 verse 5 according to the words that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt so my spirit remains among you are we in a day when the spirit remains among us yes. what spirit the Holy, Ghost. the Holy Ghost he remains among us for thus says the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations will come and i will fill this house with glory says the lord of hosts mm -hmm. what's he going to fill it with glory. glory the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts he said he's going to fill the house with glory mm -hmm. and then he says and defines the glory as silver and gold it's his verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former says the lord of hosts the glory of this latter house shall be greater say that the glory, the glory. of this latter house, this latter house. Shall, be shall be greater say it like this the glory, the glory. Of, this of this latter house shall be greater, shall be greater. say it again the glory, the glory of this, of this latter house shall be greater, shall be greater. who's the latter house use the latter house let the spoken word change you is that a spoken word yes. if you speak it the glory of this latter house shall be greater deal with it say deal with it, deal with it. the glory of this latter house shall be greater those are god's words not mine Amen. i've chosen to make them my words Amen. and i say them and they're changing me into his things Amen. first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what mm -hmm. know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost 
therefore glorify say glorify. glorify glorify God in your body the glory of this latter house shall be greater mm -hmm. what know you not glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body what's one of the best ways to glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body is your tongue part of your body yes, mm -hmm. yes so you use it to worship the God that's in your body how do you suppose you do that I worship you Holy Ghost and as you do that you enter the kingdom you enter a liberty in a way you couldn't do it before say it again the glory of this latter house, the glory of this latter house shall, be greater. shall be greater and you know he was talking about silver and gold and as I say those words those words begin to transform me into a house that is greater did you hear that as i begin to say those words they those words spoken begin to transform me into a house that is greater because the glory of this latter house shall be greater is this making sense yeah. romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren partners Holy Ghost worshipers mm -hmm. present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God what God do you suppose your body should be acceptable to the, Holy Ghost. the one living in it yes. your tongue is part of your body you're gonna present your body to God a living sacrifice holy acceptable which is a reasonable service actually it's translated in other places spiritual worship mm -hmm. you're presenting your tongue as a spiritual worship tool yeah. how I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God you go from the glory of good to the glory of acceptable to the glory of perfect will of God how are you gonna get there by worshiping the Holy Ghost and putting his word of righteousness in your mouth until it changes you what we've been doing is the body of Christ hasn't got us where we needed to be and isn't going to get us there therefore what we haven't been doing will what we haven't been doing is worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word but there are those of us who do worship God the Spirit in spirit and in truth and we are the ones being changed going from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former says the Spirit Lord in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord I worship you as God in the earth today the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former and in this place you give peace and prosperity in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand